Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 20, Thoughts. This episode is called The One Who Will Save Us All. Another episode of Love Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. Now, for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered, the episode is rated TV 14. So will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, um, quite fun when Talbot is using his powers to, to float him and, you know, Coulson up. It's true. They all float. And, you know, yeah, Coulson is like, um, I don't know about this. You know, you expect it to be just this, you know, epic moment. And he, you know, yeah, there's some subversion there like that. And, and yeah, the other thing, I mean, you know, I can fix this. I don't like how you keep saying that. And, let's see, uh, right, yeah, the, the um, one marauder who's hopped up on Odium fighting Mac, very cool, and, you know, Mac, uh, this again, you know, after a while, it does get old, you know, it's not the first person he's fought who was on Odium, it's not the first marauder he's fought, you know, just, yeah, and... I, I like Colson making some video game references. You know, it's, it, yeah, that's this is the part of the episode where he says, "You skipped the tutorial and went right to the big boss fight." And yeah, that is a very good way to to put that. And let's see, yeah, Talbot easily takes out the Marauder. And then goes all Zod, demanding people kneel. And I like that here at the start of the episode, it's to the, the creepers and others by the end of the episode. Or, yeah, it's to the aliens they're dealing with. And by the end of the episode, it's to Coulson as well. You know, it, it might start with, you know, oh, but these are our enemies. Of course we want them subjugated, but yeah. Not long, you know, once you start down that path, you know, that is one of the cases where a slippery slope is, is accurate and not a fallacy. Yeah, once you get high on the ability, the, yeah, the ability to, to have power over others. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I like the, the lines about hate. Couldn't you just find a fun game on your phone? And let's see, yeah, um, Fitz and Deke, you know, Fitz is like, it's going to take forever to do this, you know, and, and Deke is like, done, you know, it's going to take forever to conjure a big screen TV to watch football on, you know, it was worth a shot. And, and, you know, like, yeah, science, yeah, Mr. Shaw. And, you know, he's about to, to high-five, and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm still enjoying the fish-out-of-water stuff with, with Deke. And, and, yeah, you know, he's like, this is how people celebrate. Not cool people. <laughs> yeah, like you would know. And, yeah, I uh, really love Elena and, and Daisy, you know, the, the confrontation. First verbal, and, and they actually do start fighting and yeah in Elena's defense you know the the this bag with a corpse in it is is very disturbing to to see and yeah you know they're arguing over the ethics of the situation and you know who's following the rules and if they should and and such and yeah may as usual you know no bs you know just like are you done which I guess makes her the, the teacher from 187, played by Sam Jackson. <laughs> I like Talbot straight up calling it, I think he said pretzel logic, but yeah, he, he tur he's turning people into pretzels. Yeah, good scene between Deke and, and Daisy. What's in the bag? A shark or something? And I do really appreciate, you know, they are kind of doing the thing of, you know, friend zone, nice guy kind of thing where she doesn't realize he's into her. 
but at least he's not like Evo Psych, you know, mewing and hard looks, other hard looks maxing or something. <laughs> some jerk put lemons on my bed, like some sort of weird prank. Ah, uh, that sounds like Fitz. Let's see, and yeah, um. Daisy tells him tells Deke about Lincoln, and and also you know this moment of you know I I don't want to say we're getting closer and she's like you really don't and he's like oh, but it's a you know he's and she does explain you know he's thinking wow I didn't expect that you know but she is legitimately yeah she's worried that people you know people who get close to her you know yeah the there's there's a very high mortality fatality rate you know and and yeah you know just daisy if you're listening of a good piece of advice if someone close to you dies move seats and yeah um after Daisy explains about Lincoln. Obviously, Deke can't just come out and say, I love you. You know, that would be just completely... He reads the room, thankfully, and, and instead tells her about the... Yeah, the fact that Fitzsimmons are his grandparents. And, you know, she's like, Ah, oh, this makes so much sense. You and Fitz are both, you know, and again, like... I know she doesn't, she's not meaning to, but yeah, she's sometimes not the, not the picture of sensitivity, this one, and, you know, she, she tries to, to quality save, you're such special people, <laughs> I like to help, but say, you know, ugh, you and your rules, you're like the Democrats, yes, exactly, we should live in, you know, there should be no rules, that's exactly how to run the world, or in this case, worlds. And let's see. Yeah, and, you know, I, th I think it's the guy who does end up dead. There's I, I can't keep up with all these names, but yeah, you know, one of them is like, we have no one leader. And then Kesiah Sr. is like, but if we're talking about who's the most wise, definitely this guy, you know, like, me, not at all. I don't want to tell you how to run this whole coup thing. You seem to have it under control. I'm just saying, if it were me, this guy, 100%. And Talbot takes, you know, he, he goes with that without any hesitation. Good scene between Fitz and Mac. This thing of, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, wasn't my idea, no, but you went along with it, and, and yeah, debating the, the ethics of their, their current choices, and, yeah, and you have the line about, you know, crossing a line, or was not the line, something like that, and, and yeah, Kesiah Sr. introduces himself, and, yeah, you know, very nicely done, wasn't sure we were going to meet, you know, the first Kasai, what, what did he, the first son of Kasai, something like that, you know, but yeah, you know, there's been a lot of build-up towards this character, people keep talking about him in hushed tones, his sons aren't sure if they can live up to, or, it's just, well, it's especially the one, you know, if they can live up to, to him, and just, yeah, and he talks about, you know, I've got two sons of my own. You know, they're not warlords yet. They're not adults yet. And, yeah, um, they actually, we get a direct reference to Infinity War with Thanos is coming. And I know that's not a quote from this episode. And then we have, yeah, uh, Talbot attacks Coulson... And, you know, talks me, you know, you know, this is betrayal. Betrayed me. 
and yeah, really, really compelling when when Daisy and Talbot face off. And yeah, you know, first she tries to de-escalate verbally, and yeah, once she, you know, she uses her full power. Like this, what she does normal, you know, normally this move like launches people into the air, and it's like the mildest little shove, you know, just like. I'm not even sure that's her power. I think there's just like a mouse pushing his his toes, and that's what we're seeing. And and yeah, he easily you know he does a little finger flick and and takes her out. And Hale makes the the Hail Mary, you know, trying to trying to trigger the the mind control, talking about complying. And it does not work. You know, I, I really don't know how they're going to be able to... Because I... At some point... You know... it's It must end with Talbot... Losing. I have no idea how that's going to happen. And, yeah. So, IMDb trivia... Let's see... Uh, yeah, someone explains the Miko thing. This reunites actor Peter Menza, co-creators Jed Whedon and Marisa Tancharoen, and writer Brent Fletcher after previous works on Spartacus Gods of the Arena. And Yeah, this takes place during Infinity War. And... Yeah, um, someone points out, if May were to fire a weapon straight up in the air, like she just didn't care, in an underground bunker like this, the ricochet would be very loud, possibly deadly. Let's see. Right, and apparently the, the Miko is misused in this episode. And... Yeah, um... This is yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the very next episode tomorrow. It's hard to believe there's only two episodes left of the season. I cannot wait. I'm yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Um. You know, Talbot says, "I don't worry. I can fix this." And Phil says, "I really wish you'd stop saying that." Let's see. And. Right, I like, you know, Coulson trying to talk down Talbot and him only escalating. And let's see. I think that might... Uh, yes, right. So what I'm getting from this episode is it's not that Talbot is like stronger than Ruby. It's just that it's coming out in a slightly different way. You know, the, the Gravitonium is destroying him. Destroying, you know, warping his judgment and, and such. And... Let's see. That is it for um with these aliens come bags didn't count on is squaring off against the two best military minds the world has to offer. No, they most certainly did not. <laughs>